My name is Tom Heck, and I am a dad. Um, but more importantly, I'm a geek dad. And I'd like to share a few of my geek dad adventures with you in hopes that some of you will choose to join the geek dad community. Well, first, I'd like to take a look at this word geek. When we, I, I went looking for a definition. I went to Wikipedia, of course. And odd, non-mainstream, peculiar, overly intellectual. These were the words they used. Does this describe you? If yes, if so, say yes. That's what I thought. OK, complete this sentence. Oh, the places you'll? Yes, you will go to some really fun places if you do start doing geek dad stuff with your kids. Here are a few places I've been with my own kids. A couple years ago, I went on a pilgrimage to the world champion pumpkin chunking contest in Delaware, where medieval siege instruments are used to launch pumpkins, hundreds and even thousands of feet. My son and I left determined to design and build our own uh, trebuchet. And this is it, a kid-powered water balloon launching trebuchet. Not long afterwards, a music festival invited us to perform in the kids' area, where for the past couple years, we've been giving kids an opportunity to hurl water balloons 75 yards with a medieval siege instrument. This, uh, we were then invited to a TEDx event where we were launching water balloons and all, all kinds of other stuff. Up walks this gentleman, Mr. Thurburn Barker, and Mr. Barker uh, worked at NASA and the Gemini missions. Uh, this is our backyard play structure that we started working on and conceptualizing when uh, on our, our living room floor. And I was teaching my kids about modeling. Then when we started building, uh, we, I taught my kids about this principle from Albert Einstein. Imagination is everything. Think about it. Everything was first imagined by somebody. All right. Then, uh, this is our adventure tower. That's what we call it. It was featured in Make Magazine. Oh, that was so cool. And, and now geek dads around the world email me telling me that they're using our inspiration to build their own adventure tower. And uh, what a cool thing. The Geek Dad book, filled with projects. I was uh, inspired by one to, to attach a small video camera to a couple helium balloons. And then uh, I launched them at the school picnic. I tied a kite string to it and sent it up hundreds of feet videotaping the picnic as we went along. And then we reeled it all back in, and the kids got to watch the video of themselves from hundreds of feet up. In 2012, TEDx Asheville had a theme of the edge. I thought this would be an awesome opportunity to go to my uh, son's middle school, and I convinced the math teacher and a group of students to design uh, a payload to send up 100,000 feet to uh, the edge of Earth's atmosphere. The students got to work on, you, or apply math, science, and engineering skills for a real life challenge. And one of the coolest things that came from this was how it impacted the whole school community. This is a shot from the camera as it uh, was taking off uh, on its way. And, and, and my son is in the background there with a boom box playing the theme song to 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> This is a screenshot uh, from the video. The video was amazing. And you can see the curvature of Earth and the blackness of space. And when the balloon popped at about 30 feet in diameter, it parachuted back to Earth uh, about 100 miles from here near Boone, North Carolina. Uh, uh, my daughter has always loved flight and has had an interest in it. So I suggested last weekend that we build a hovercraft. She just about jumped out of her skin. And uh, we, together, we built this hovercraft. And uh, she applied math skills from school and power tools, perfect combination. Our, our hovercraft uh, uses a leaf blower to create a cushion of air for it to float across. We borrowed a friend's uh, big warehouse floor. And, and here's a picture of my daughter being pushed by a friend. And it was as if she was gliding on ice, going hundreds of feet down uh, the, the warehouse floor. So in the end, the reason I'd like to share or uh, do Geek Dad projects with my kids, it's very simple. It's a really fun way to spend time together. And uh, I'm getting a little choked up because the next day after building the hovercraft, my daughter walked up to me and handed me this card. And this card represents what it means to be a Geek Dad. 